A big hello to you all. In this video from Learn the Electrics, we're going to look at changing the fuse in a domestic plug. This video is aimed at the householder and DIY person who has maybe not changed fuses before, but of course it is useful for everyone. If this is the first time you've needed to change a fuse, then fear not. It really is very, very easy and we will take you through every step. Here we go then. Let's assume that it's time for our mid-morning coffee and toast. We switched on the toaster and nothing. The fuse is blown. But stop. Let's not just dive straight in and start pulling plugs to pieces. Let's do this logically and safely. The first thing to do, silly as it sounds, is to check that it is actually plugged into the socket and it is actually switched on. It does happen. It happens to all of us. The next step is to check that the socket is in fact working. If the breaker to the socket is tripped, then no amount of changing plug top fuses is going to fix the problem. Plug something else into the same socket as the suspect plug. A bedside lamp will do. Does it light up? Plug your phone charger in. Does the charging light come on? If the bedside lamp or phone charger lights up, then the socket is working. If not, the socket has no power and the problem is probably back at your consumer unit. Take your toaster to another socket in a different part of the house where things are still working. If the TV is on, plug the toaster in next to it. If it still does not work, then yes, it looks like the toaster is at fault. Make sure you have a selection of fuses. Any hardware store or supermarket will sell them. If there is a BS number on the packet, it should say BS1362. You will also need a screwdriver that fits the centre screw of the plug top. The standard range of plug top fuses nowadays is 3 amp, 5 amp and 13 amp and they are all colour coded. Red is 3 amps, black is 5 amps and brown is 13 amps. The fuse size and the letters BS1362 should be on the fuse itself. Plug tops come in all shapes and colours and some factory fitted plugs will have a label attached indicating the size of fuse to fit. Check the overall condition of the plug. If it is damaged you will be well advised to fit a new plug top and the cable should be firmly gripped in the plug. Some plug tops when new come with a card label. If this is here we at Learn Electrics always recommend that the label is removed as it is considered a fire risk. A very low fire risk but best to remove it. Every UK plug should now have a plastic finger insulation on the two shorter pins, the phase or live pin and the neutral pin. This is to make sure the pins are fully disconnected from the supply before little fingers can touch the pins. Again, consider changing the plug top if yours is an older unprotected type. So, we're happy the plug top itself is OK and we are ready to change the fuse. Locate the centre pin of the plug and unscrew it. Do not remove the two usually smaller screws at the bottom. They are for the cord grip. Sometimes the centre screw is not visible. It may be hidden behind a small label. This is just a quality check label that is put on at the factory. Remove the label. There's your centre screw. Remove the screw using an appropriate screwdriver. Some are crosshead style, some are a flat blade type. With the cover off, you will see the fuse off to one side. Check the colour and the size of the fuse and make sure you have the correct replacement. It is dangerous practice to just fit a 13 amp fuse in all plug tops. The correct rating of fuse must be fitted. If the manufacturer has fitted a 3 amp or a 5 amp fuse, then replace it with a 3 amp or 5 amp fuse. 
at Learn Electrics we always encourage that whilst we have the cover off that we also check the colours are correct as shown on this photograph. Brown must go to the fuse holder, the blue wire goes to neutral and the green and yellow wire must go to the larger earth pin. Some equipment, especially garden tools such as mowers and trimmers, will have only two wires inside, the brown and the blue. They are manufactured in such a way that the earth is not required. Some older equipment may have the older colours installed, especially if it was bought before 2005. These colours are shown here. Instead of brown, blue and green yellow, we have red, black and green. If the cables look OK, then they do not need to be changed. Leave them as they are. Now, the most technical bit of all, remove the old fuse. You may need to use a small flat screwdriver to gently coax the fuse out of the holder. Once removed, put the old fuse well out of the way of the new fuses. Do not get them mixed up. And once you are certain that the fuse is faulty, throw the old fuse away. You do not need it anymore. This chart gives you some suggested fuse sizes for different household appliances. Some appliances have a label attached that indicates the correct size. Where possible, always follow the manufacturer's recommendations. For your new fuse, it should be firmly gripped in the holder. If it is loose, gently squeeze the ears of the holder together by a millimetre or so. Not too much, just enough to grip the fuse securely. Loose fuses can cause fires. At Learn Electrics, we always suggest that whilst the cover is off, just check that the three screws holding the wires are tight. All screws will work loose slightly over time. Just nip them up if needed. And so, final part, refit the top to the plug, put the screw back in, but do not excessively over tighten. You don't want to break the plastic. It needs to be just tight enough that the two halves are not loose. And then test it. Plug your toaster in and it should burst into life. Make your toast, make your coffee and enjoy. Changing a fuse, if the new fuses and screwdrivers are to hand, should take no, no more than two minutes with practice. It is easy. If you haven't done it before, it is very empowering. Give it a go. A quick recap then. Check the equipment in a second socket that you know does work. Plug something else into the first socket. If the equipment does not work in any other socket and everything else works in the first socket, it is probably the equipment fuse. Remove the plug top cover screw. Remove the old fuse and throw away. Fit the new fuse as recommended. Check the conductor colours are correct. Check the screws are tight. Refit the plug top cover and screw it all back together. Test your equipment. And that's the job done. Please remember, electricity is dangerous. If you are unsure at all, then please stop and seek professional assistance. Thank you for watching this video from Learn Electrics. We hope you enjoyed it and that you have added some useful information to your mental toolbox. This is just one of our videos on tech tips for electricians and help videos for householders. We publish videos every week and if you click on the subscribe button below then you will not miss our next video. Clicking subscribe also helps us too. You can find us on this YouTube channel, Learn Electrics, and also on our Learn Electrics Facebook page. Thank you once more, and we look forward to seeing you again very soon.